Oh my God, somebody got the gay crab. I'm very happy. Oop, I think that's a little low. There we go. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. Let me get my jacket off. Don't need that on. Shoes off. Baby monitor on and at full blast. Coffee in hand. We're good. Chili cookie, welcome to the cat gang. Thank you so much. Welcome. Thank you. I appreciate the subscription. Oh my God. Hi. Yeah, a little extra stream here today. Uh, we've got a sponsored stream this evening. So we're gonna hang out, chitty chat, and then swap to, to ad time, basically. How's my weekend? Good. Yeah, it's good. Um, my kiddo and I had a very nice day together. We were gonna go skating. And then she kind of at the last minute was like, can we not? Cause it was a very arts and craftsy day and there were like five different projects <laughs> that were sort of put on hold. She was like, I really just wanna stay home and finish my tie dye and my sewing and my and my and my etc cetera, etc cetera. and I was like okay yeah that's fine no goose drama no in fact the opposite um, I helped I helped figure out the area and put up the fence and stuff for the geese so the geese have their own little fenced off area now so we're hoping that kind of helps crumble I mean it's good for everybody right it, it serves two purposes. Um, Crumble hopefully won't need to feel quite so territorial. He's got space that nobody else is allowed in. Um, and also, uh, none of us will get attacked. Because there's a big ass fence around him now. <laughs> the goose learned its lesson? No. That's impossible for this man. <laughs> this goose man. Yeah. Crumble can't be a menace. And if he flies over this fence, then honestly, he deserves the win. <laughs> well, my sister-in-law believes that they're trying to lay an egg, but that they're too stressed out by the pigs and the sheep and the people and the blah, blah. And that's why they haven't laid an egg yet. Um, so she's hoping that if they have their own zone, that they'll both chill out and she'll feel safe laying her egg and, you know. It robs him of the opportunity to be a menace. <laughs> but maybe it'll get him out of practice, you know? Oh my gosh, you got Michael! We're getting so many of the customs right now. Um, I mean, uh, baby geese are adorable. I loved the geese when they were little. And this isn't in a, that's when they were cute sort of way. It's in a, that's when they weren't trying to attack me sort of way, you know. <laughs> but yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. Clark forever now has been asking if we could make gummies. If we could basically get like gelatin or a gelatin alternative and make our own little gummies, right? So um, we tried a recipe that was literally just 
juice and gelatin powder or agar agar powder. I'm learning though that they don't behave the same. So we have agar powder. Does not behave the same as gelatin powder. Um, somebody was like, you have to be really careful with it because sometimes when you put in the same amount that they say you should put in of gelatin powder, um, it be the, the thing you're trying to make becomes really hard and you can really taste it. And I was like, okay, good to know. We'll tread lightly. Didn't tread lightly enough. <laughs> Did not tread lightly enough. We made gummies. It was like, it'll take like two hours for them to harden. They hardened within like 15 minutes. And we were like, that's not a good sign. Clark pulled one out. It was like hard, like hard to squeeze. I was like, what the heck? And she took a bite and was like, it was it was like a cartoon. I'll bet. <laughs> Just let it drop out of her mouth and was like, no. So I took a bite and I was like, oh, it tastes like the juice. And it's it, it's this weird like bait and switch where it tastes like the juice and then immediately after it just tastes like the powder. Um. So yeah, now we know. <laughs> I was like, next time, number one, we could find a recipe that is like specifically for agar agar powder, right? Um, or I don't know. I don't know, dude. Um, it might also be that like, obviously not all fruit is going to, is created equal, right? Like every, every fruit is gonna be it's gonna have different like enzymes and things like that that could potentially affect it differently, I guess. So I don't think I have a hair tie. I don't think there's a reason for me to be doing that. It did not tread lightly enough. This needs to be put on a t-shirt ASAP. We have did not tread lightly enough. We have no smart big heart. <laughs> We have such good ideas, dude. On Critical Role, Travis Willingham put a durian candy in his mouth and spat it out like a child. Yes, Apple and Crumble are the name of the geese. And when we got them, it was under the assumption that they were both girls. Um, and it turns out that, that Crumble is a gander. And so that's why he's so aggro about everything. And Apple just hangs out and watches from afar like a queen. <laughs> Parky fell asleep instantly tonight. I made dinner and I was like, oh, if only someone, if only someone could do the dishes and put the baby away. <laughs> and Sam was like, I'm doing it, I'm gonna do it. I was like, if only somebody could do the dishes and put the baby to bed. He was like, I'm doing, I'm, I'm get, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. Did the dishes and then picked up Clark, took her upstairs, immediately came downstairs. And I was like, what happened? And he was like, she's asleep already. <laughs> yeah. Has she been sleeping better? 
Um, not necessarily. It depends on what you mean by better. <laughs> uh, not waking up for hours at a time in the middle of the night, but uh, her legs are hurting so bad. So she'll wake up, growth spurt, growing pains. She'll wake up in the middle of the night and just be like, my legs hurt so bad, right? Um, which sucks. But, I know. Yeah, it's always the legs, for, for her at least. It's, um, whenever she's in a growth spurt, she'll wake up in the middle of the night and just be like, my legs are so bad. And we try to give her like, you know, kid ibuprofen or something, because otherwise she just can't get back to sleep. Yeah, bones hurty. Bones hurty, dude. Bone ouchie. Ouchie wawa. Oh, it was always legs for me, but it turned out I had juvenile arthritis. Oh no! Yeah, I wouldn't think of that. That's so sweet. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, you know what? Every time I talk about growing pains, it's like half and half. Like half of the viewers will say, I remember growing pains. They sucked. And the other half will be like, I actually didn't know that growing pains were like a, th like a for real thing. <laughs> like I don't remember ever experiencing them really. I found out today that humans have stripes. Did you know that? <laughs> I didn't know, we can't see them. We can't perceive a difference. It just all looks like normal skin color, whatever uh, to us. Sometimes people have um, like, a, like a skin, I don't know if condition is the right word, but like a hyperpigmentation where, where the, the two types of skin will look drastically different so you can actually see it. But I guess everybody, depending on how your skin grew and there's like five different ways, but everybody has like a pattern on their skin that some animals are able to see, but we can't see. Yeah, isn't that weird? I was reading about it and somebody was like, yeah, apparently our cats can see it. And then, <laughs> and then a person was like, you mean my cat knew I had stripes before I knew I had stripes? Yeah, hold on. Let me look up what they're actually called. I can't remember. Blashko lines. Human skin is overlaid with what dermatologists call Blashko lines, a pattern of stripes that cover the body from head to toe. Our skin is covered with invisible stripes. Yeah. 
And there's like a bunch of different types. Hold on. Let's see if I can find the graphic. Flash go lines. There we go. Okay, sorry for the butts. <laughs> but it's these. And I don't know if there's a way to find out which one you have. I don't think there is. But... Yeah, it entirely, I guess, depends on like your skin and how your skin grew. Um, and the pattern is determined by that. And so either people who have this sort of like hyperpigmentation or if you have like vitiglio, um, you'll sort of see like echoes of what that pattern is for you as well, I guess. Um, but yeah, some of us are checkerboard people. I just needed you all to know that. <laughs> Have a cool S on my back. I wish. This this is called lurk bait. <laughs> this is called lurk bait, and chat loves it. And we made a bunch of custom fish. So so far today, somebody's fished up a zacky wacky, a gay crab. Um, a Michael, in all caps. Chat <laughs> yearns for the pond. Mm. I got a wide gobbio. Yes, I love that. I'm so happy. <laughs> Clark's FKC drawing. We don't have a Clark drawing on here. <clears throat> we have a Sam drawing of Susie Sheep, but that's it. There is a Wilk, yes. There's a Wilk that you can fish up. <clears throat> Did I get a new camera? Nar. Same camera. muscles. You know how it is. Can we do anything with the gold? No. Everything about this game is fake. Um, the gold determines where you are on the leaderboard. So the bigger fish that you catch, fish, the bigger fish that you catch, the more gold they're worth. And so you'll be higher on the leaderboard if you've caught more big fish. Did you like Dune 2? I haven't even seen Dune 1. Haven't even seen old Dune. So no, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I've seen no Dune. How do I see the leaderboard? I can bring up the leaderboard. There's an option to let chat bring up the leaderboard, but I was really worried it would get spammy, so I didn't. How do you feel about dune, like an actual sand dune? Yeah, I'm pretty neutral on sand dunes, dude. <laughs> yes, 
Yeah, I mean, that would be amazing if they were like, guess what? This is an extension now, and you can interact with it and see the leaderboard yourself. That would be incredible. Mm -hmm. And see, like, what fish you've caught. Yeah, that would be very good. Yeah, well, I feel like the options were because um, originally I made this cost a lot more. And then people were like, no, I can't afford it. So I made it cheap, but a uh, little cheap, you know. I made it cheapish, but you can only do it once per day. Yeah, a Twitch extension would be rad. Oh my god. So I tried to do the boogie down dance. I set up my camera, because obviously I can't tell if I'm doing it well when I'm doing it, right? I set up my camera and recorded myself doing the boogie down dance and looked at it and I was like, yeah, it looks about as mediocre as I expected. I haven't danced in a long time. And then I went on with my life, right? And today, uh, Clark, we uh, we picked a bunch of gigantic leeks that were out in the garden because my mother-in-law was like, please, I'm begging you. They're huge. Someone's got to eat them. And I was like, I'll just pick a bunch of them and freeze them, right? So came inside, took a picture of these gigantic leeks to send my mom because she liked that. <laughs> and started chopping them up. And Clark was looking through my phone was looking at the pictures of the leaks and then went like one too far and wound up on the video of me trying to do the boogie down. And she was like, mommy, what is this? <laughs> I was like, I was trying to do a dance called the boogie down. And she was like, can I see someone else do it? <laughs> Said, yeah, of course. So I showed her like a couple of videos of other people doing it. And she was actually very supportive uh, and found a, a person who did it really well and was like, mommy, you could totally do this. I was like, thanks, baby. Yeah, leeks are a pain in the ass because you basically have to like cut them in half, run water between all of the layers because it's just dirt city in there. Whenever people put up a recipe where they're like, you're gonna roast the whole leek, don't cut it open. I'm like, pass, <laughs> pass, dude. I bet it's delicious. I don't know what the fuck I'm eating though. I also got to teach my kid about pinworms. One of the things that I've been trying to remind myself about to keep myself from biting my nails is pinworms. And so I was I was explaining what pinworms are to my kid. I don't know why. <laughs> and now she keeps putting her fingers in my face and being like, do you want my pinworms? Which is terrible. And I wish I had never mentioned it. You got a crab, congratulations. Pinworms are totally normal worms that just like wind up under your nails because we wipe our butts. And even if you're washing your hands a bunch, you probably have pinworms under your nails. And it's like no big deal unless you're eating them a lot, I guess. Um, and then under the right circumstances, they can hurt your tummy pretty bad. So um, yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Did you want to be spooked into into not biting your nails anymore? You're welcome. Thanks, I hate it. Me too. I also hate it. <laughs> Oh no. Go back to 
sleep, my baby girl. Go back to sleep, my sweetie pity. Go back to sleep, my baby girl. I love you. I love you. Okay, I think we're good. We're good, we're good, we're good. No, she couldn't hear that. I was just sending her sleep time vibes. It's a channel point redemption. So if you're sitting on a million channel points, this is something you can use them on, my dude. I don't wanna talk about pinworms anymore. I regret bringing it up at all. <laughs> But if you're really feral for more pinworm content, I bet Google has got you covered. used to sing me to sleep but she used to be quite a loud opera type singer so she'd really go for it i love the the visual of that it's like all right time for a bedtime song Mama, da, 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 da. you're like ah my perfect bedtime song <laughs> My mom and I used to sing together. It was never like a, it's funny, like looking back, my mom tucked me in to bed for a very, 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 very long time. And I loved it because, um, because we just hang and like sing like two or three songs together. It was never under the assumption that I was gonna fall asleep while she was singing. It was always that we would sing we had like set songs that we would sing together and then she'd be like, bye. And I'd be like, see ya. <laughs> Welcome back, Amariel. Touch me. It's so easy to leave me. Hong Shu, Hong Shu. I was goofing with her. I was like, I can't believe your legs were hurting last night, dude. She was like, I know, they hurt really bad. I was like, this is a problem. I have a real problem with this. And she was like, what? <laughs> like, if your legs keep hurting, if you keep getting growth spurts, you're gonna be taller than me. So what's that all about? She woke up. <laughs> she woke up, dude. But will she? Go back to sleep is the question. She's turning six next month. I know, she was like, are you talking shit about me? Me? I'm the backbone of this house. So true, dude. <laughs> um, let's get stuff set up for our sponsored stream. Oh my God, the burp that just burped out of me. Um, let's get stuff set up for our sponsored stream. We are gonna be playing Songs of Silence today, which, um, is a 4X game that is currently 
doing a, a Kickstarter campaign, or rather, a Kickstarter campaign is starting soon for it. So that's mostly what we're promoting today, is their, is their Kickstarter, but also like wishlisting the game. They've got a demo up and stuff. Um, and the version that they gave me has a few different maps that I'll be able to try, so. But it looks beautiful. I know, she's so big, what happened? I agree. For what it's worth, I agree. She shouldn't be six yet. That's buck wild. Click the branded content button. And all right, we're gonna take a break. And when we come back from break, we will officially be in the sponsored section. I'm gonna go check on my kid because a pillow just fell on her face and I don't think she's gonna deal with that for very long. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna put up with that for very long. I'll be right back, see you in just a minute.
All right. The queue is paused. The queue is paused, my friends. We enter a world without fishing. <laughs> Hello, everybody. We are now officially in the sponsored section. Oh my goodness. Hi, everyone. Uh, today we are sponsored playing Songs of Silence, which is a 4X fantasy strategy game. Um, it looks beautiful. It's got like card-based battle elements, which I love. Uh, some auto battler stuff, a lot of strategy, which sometimes I struggle with. So I'm interested to see how it all works together. I've watched some gameplay and things for it. Um, but I'm really excited. They have a demo out currently, but more importantly, uh, pretty soon here, their Kickstarter is launching for the game. Uh, so the link that is in the sponsored command takes you to their Kickstarter. If you would like to check it out, find out more information about it beyond what you see here, um, you know, the sorts of things that they're planning on doing with the game and what their goal is, uh, check that out. And also, um, again, another thing that we always say helps a whole bunch is wishlisting the game. So if you like what you see today, uh, check it out in other places. See if it's going to be your type of thing. Um, the build that we have is not the demo. They actually gave us a different build today, which is pretty cool. Um, that has a few different maps. I think they said three. Uh, that I'll be able to, to tackle and do my best at. So there's also um, some multiplayer options with this game and things. So it seems like it's gonna be really cool. But for now, let's check it out, shall we? I didn't open the game ahead of time. I should have done that, but that's okay. We'll do it together. We'll do it live. Boop, boop. Just changing the shape of some windows. You know how it is. <laughs> Just changing the window shapes like you do. All righty. Let's see. Yeah, we're doing it live, dude. It's all good. Hello, it's me. It's the guy. Yes. We're Gucci. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. English language. I always like to have a little gander at the settings. Let me know if the audio is too loud, not loud enough. Okay, can't affect controls. Let's build, that's fine. Bit loud, okay. The music's so pretty. Okay, let's check it out. Yeah, campaign. Get me in the story, dude. I want to know what's going on. The siege of Elbin. After the destruction of her home, Queen Lorelei of Erengard is seeking a safe haven for a ragtag group of survivors. In the allied realm of Elbin, the refugees are drawn into a brutal war caused by the slowly encroaching silence. Let's do it. Still loud? Okay. Let me know how that is. I will never forget the last days of Erengard. The day the Purgatory came. The day our homeland was devoured by silence. The day everything turned to dust. Oh! Oh my gosh, we're doing it. 
protection. Affect friendly combatants to become immune to damage. For six seconds, sure. Yeah. Wait, are those bad guys? Oh no. All enemies. Smashes a celestial meter meteor into the target. Woo! I should have been there. Either to save them or to perish by their side. Oh, interesting. Okay. It was unwinnable. <laughs> Only I remained to protect the survivors of our once mighty kingdom. But in my darkest hours, doubt. Look at the art. It's so How pretty. How can I lead these people? Where to? Am I really worthy to be their queen? In my moment of despair, a golden light appeared from above. It was Isla, a holy celestial bird who had once guided my mother. I hear you, faithful guardian. Please... Show us the way. And so Queen Lorelei of Erengard sets forth to lead her subjects towards an uncertain future. In the distant realm of Elbin, she hopes to meet Lord Hauser, a loyal friend of her late father, who is now serving as cleric and aid to Elbin's monarch. Surely the old man will understand her plight. At long last, the people of Erengard arrive at their destination. Yet something seems off. Elbin's roads, fields, and villages are deserted, and the air is rent with the sound of battle. Oh no! A fight? I can't believe the bird did this to us. Look, everyone. Isla has found Elbin's capital. If we make haste, we could be there on the morrow. Follow Isla to the capital city in the east. <laughs> okay. All of you guys, come this way. No? What is this? Play, a f play on a friendly location to add a permanent high house building. As long as the high house remains on the location, it increases the income by plus five gold and location growth by plus one prosperity per turn. In addition, Rage Sworn becomes recruitable from this location. Is this a location? Do I double click? Oh my gosh. How am I doing this wrong? Oh, oh my gosh, I did it. <laughs> I did it, guys! And now we fight. Under our control. Surrender at once. I kept left clicking. I'm like a little goofball. Okay. Okay, so they auto battle and we help with cards. Friendly cavalry units thunder into the designated area, attacking all enemies. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Smashes a celestial meteor into the target area, attacking all enemies. Oh. Meteor unnecessary. <laughs> a little overkilly. Elvin is at war? Word, dude. Oh, come on! A cold shiver runs down Lorelei's back. She came here for safe shelter. What will become of her people now? This country is under siege. I have to hurry. The capital might be in danger. Wait, so play in a friendly location, add a permanent high house building to the location. Oh, but I don't have, okay, I don't have enough. Can't move any further. Oh, end my turn, I see. It's the world's turn, okay? And now it's my turn, let's go!
There we go. Okay, I still don't have what I need. Okay. Wandering through the desolate streets of Alvin, Lorelei experiences the all too familiar sensation. War is in the air. A young, anxious looking guard meets her at the castle gates and escorts her to the throne room for an audience with Hauser. After a moment's contemplation, the old man lowers his mirrored mask, revealing a weary, yet sincere smile. Mm. Our country is at war, and King Atran is trapped behind enemy lines. What? It pains me to deny our support, but we cannot grant you sanctuary while our very survival is at stake, milady. I am sorry, old man, but I have grown weary of fighting. I will help you liberate your sovereign, but that's all I can do. Thank you, milady. The enemy has surrounded the king at Doran Citadel. Oh, gosh. <laughs> your command okay rescue king atron within six turns okay wait so can i go in here Ooh, what's this only playable once the prosperity point meter is completely filled plan this location to increase its prosperity level from two to three this right click on armies or locations to inspect them drag and drop units to change their formation use this to prepare for an upcoming battle play recruitment cards to build strong armies recruitment is mostly available in locations okay conquered locations are in unrest until the start of your next turn blocking income and recruitment Play strategy cards onto locations, add specialized buildings, buildings bestow boons, new recruitment options, and remove unrest. Earn experience by killing units. Level up by playing the level up card onto your hero. And choose upgrades. Okay. Fortified locations need to be sieged for several turns before they can be attacked. When under siege, a location's perks, income, and recruitment are locked. I mean, this music! Attack a besieging army to ambush it. Ambushed enemies are in disarray and suffer penalties to their combat power. Moving into hidden armies or attacking a marching army also results in an ambush. Some locations have the all-important supply perk. Okay. This stuff will apply later, I think. So for now, this is kind of where we're at, right? So, okay. So we command two, two groups right now. And I guess we'll have them, oh, there's something here. An easy win. Yeah? If you say so, dude. I believe you, you. Get him. Oh my gosh, we got a bunch of mages! That makes sense. So again, as a reminder, there is there's a demo available for this game. I'm sort of showcasing sort of what they've built so far. Um, but this game uh, does have a Kickstarter that's about to start, which is what the link is for. So if you like the vibe of this game, um, Definitely check out their Kickstarter because it is not, it's not a complete game, but like look at how much is already built into it. It's really clear what it is they want to do with it. It's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, if, if you like 4X games, if this seems up your alley, uh, 
of course, feel free to keep watching. But also, um, like I said, the link that's in our command goes to their Kickstarter page that is going to be uh, opening up pretty soon here. Anyway, good job, Hauser. Crush that. I am sorry about your parents. I should have been there. I'm glad you weren't. Nobody survived that day. Nobody but me. You must be cautious, my lady. We can't afford to lose your bloodline. Huh. A roaming army. Okay, interesting. Oops, <laughs> I keep left clicking. Go friends. <laughs> no. Well, plant babies. Oh no, deadly plant babies. Probably should have summoned them here. <laughs> that was very silly of me. Oh, oh. this is poorly, I feel like. Maybe. Maybe we're fine. Distract biggest boy is. Oh my goodness, he has so much else. Good job, guys. I think a lot of you died. Uh-oh. <laughs> Hauser has proven his mettle once more. Okay, so he wouldn't level until... Oh, Hurry up. Just kidding. The king is counting on us. New objective. Rescue King Atron in five turns. We would love to. Um, but hold on, because... So we want speech at full, but music down a little bit. Is that kind of the vibe? And effects down a little, maybe? Okay. Army retreating. Oh, okay, interesting. Play to recruit a unit of Hearthsworn, basic but reliable infantry melee fighters. Okay. It'd probably be good to have over here because we have mostly like magey types. <gasps> Play on an empty unit slot to summon a random lesser celestial unit. Oh, these are so interesting. Level up. Play this card on Hazard's army to promote your hero to the next level of the Hierophant class. Yeah, we want to do that, right? Oh, can I not? Hazard the Radiant. And Lorelei. Lorelei, you gotta get some accolades, dude. Play the level up card onto your hero. Yes, outside of battle. Is that what we're saying? Hold on. Nope, nope, nope.
Here we go. Yeah, okay, let's see. Affects friendly combatants become immune to damage and negative morale for six seconds. This is the card I tried to use in the in the unbeatable. Yeah, it's got a cool like, even the UI reflects this sort of like cool art deco sort of vibe. Summon a random elite celestial unit. Plan an empty unit slot, summon a random lesser celestial unit. Divine favor cost. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I guess I'll take this. Since it seems like maybe, unless I'm reading it wrong, the, the other two I might not really be able to use for a while. Good job, Hauser. I didn't mean for, okay, that's fine. We might need to do this here. I just want, I, it's okay. Before it said that, that you would need to like, be out there for a while before you can attack. I guess I misunderstood what that meant. Yeah, let's retreat, guys. It's okay, Hauser. You don't have to prove yourself to anybody, dude. Okay. Lorelai, we gotta get in there, dude. Uh-oh. We have to focus back? on saving him. Why is he coming back for me? I spankied him. Why can't I get there? Oh, I see. I was body blocking myself was the problem. <laughs> oh yeah, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Get him! Yes, dude. Smashes a celestial meter right, right here. Yeah, dude. Oh <gasps> no! Get off. <laughs> oh. It's okay. Yay! Good job. Let's go, Lorelai. Mm hmm. Now, Lorelai, level up. I am forever in your debt, but alas, I must request your assistance one more time. I'm not here to fight. All I want is a new home for my people. And you shall have it, once you help me end this war. Boo! Then I will oblige, but only for the sake of House Arangard. Hauser, Queen Lorelei will need your support. Go, attack the enemy capital at once. At your command. Once known as the proudest city in southern Mundus, Friedland's capital, Sternsicht, has fallen oh. into decay after many years of war. From the royal spire's highest battlement, the duchy's aging matriarch, Raduin, addresses Lorelei and Hauser in a grave voice. Friedland must live! Okle dokle. Oops. Mm. 
Okay, we're leveling. We're leveling. We're leveling. Add a permanent fort building to the location. As long as a fort remains on the location, it adds one tier of fortified, a tier of garrison, and a tier of supply. In addition, star shower catapults and oath sworn become recruitable. Sure, I'll take this. As Lorelai's strength grows, so do the trust of her people. Army capacity up. Ooh. Okay. Wait, so, okay, I still can't play these though. What is it that I'm missing? This. What's this? Building material produced by locations such as mines or wild woods. How do I find a mine? I yearn for the mines. How do I find them? I can't move any further. Okay, wait. Easy win. If you say so, bud, I trust you. You know what's up. I swear, if 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 this flowerman goes and attacks my bridge, I'm gonna be so mad. They're immune! <laughs> Rousing success. Oh, my baby's so uncomfortable. <laughs> What's this? Play this on a destroyed location to rebuild it. Does each? Hold on. No, we share resources. Do I want to rebuild this, though? I assume that I get some sort of a benefit. The more the more places I own, the bigger benefit I get each turn, right? Let's see. Sure. Let's rebuild it. Sure, why not? It's ours now. Huzzah. Huzzang. What's this? Pip the knight. Oh, right. No one else can move. Red's turn. Green's turn. No. Stop, you goofball. Stop, they have no cards. They're not an army. Oh, buddies. Oh, no. Oh, buddies. They're not even... They're <laughs> well, yeah. Hero first name escaped. It's theirs now. Whatever, I don't need that bridge. Uh-oh. Oh, right, this is your town. <laughs> All right, it's fine. Okay, who are you? Hide. Hey, over here. Yeah. On the edge of Grunau Forest, a boisterous kobold is waving his wooden sword with reckless abandon. His eyes bulging with imagined riches, the little scamp turns around to greet his visitors. A baby. A child. Hey there. I'm Pip. Adventurer extraordinaire. At least, that's what I'd like to be. One day. I'll first, help you, Pip. I need to prove myself. Keep this on the down low, okay? I'm on a top secret quest for the mythical singing stone. I really hope I'm up to the challenge. You think I can do it, don't you? <laughs> How interesting. <laughs> well, I must leave if that's all. Great. I really appreciate the help. <laughs> we'll start in Grunau Forest. See you there. Oh no. I think I'm probably supposed to. <laughs> 
think I can do it, don't you? Well, I must be going. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was very funny. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, hold, hold that thought, Pip. My sweet boy. One minute. Hold on. trying to figure out. So only one army can exist in, in a location at a time, I guess. So how do I swap them? Yes, again, for clarity, um, there is a demo of this game that you can play, but uh, this is sort of showing off what they've built of the game so far. A Kickstarter is launching very soon here, so the link that's in my command is, um, is for their Kickstarter page. So if you wanna find out more about this game, um, definitely don't look at it from, like what I'm playing right now, don't look at it from a lens of like, what the finished product is going to be, but like considering that they haven't even done a Kickstarter yet and they've already got a demo up, like they've, they, it's really clear what it is they want to do. They've, they have built so much already. Um, so that's, that's what we're doing here today is showing off what this game is, um, you know, what the concept is here, what they've built. Uh, so that if this is something that you're interested in, that you would love to play as a finished product, um, maybe you'll check out the Kickstarter page and list, list the game. Both of those things would help them out so much. Um, okay. I am having trouble though, figuring out how, how to swap them around, which is fine. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put them here, I think. in here and then have you talk to Pip I'll meet you in Grunau Forest soon I just need to sharpen my sword first okay Pip love you buddy this is Grunau Forest right here got it okay you go back in there guard that um They abandoned the bridge. They didn't even care about the bridge, dude. They just wanted violence. <laughs> Let's go. Attack, yes!
Uh oh. Come on, guys. I believe in you. Oh, goodness. Oh, no. I don't know who said that. <gasps> Quaking with fear, a frightened Pip suddenly peeks out from behind the Aaron guard. His wide-eyed look of disappointment will haunt Laurel. <laughs> I can't believe I let Pip see me like this, dude. <laughs> What's on your mind, my lady? You've lived this war for years, haven't you? I'm sure there's much to learn. No doubt about it. I'll elaborate later. Turn. My poor, <laughs> my poor horseback riders. I love them. I've treated them so poorly. Oh, I can't bring anybody else out. Oh. Um. Okay. Let's try this, dude. Huh? Oh, they st Oh, they stay hurt. That's nice. Well, I'm gonna come be a real meanie butt about it. that you miscreants basking in the adulation of an imaginary audience pip appears next to lorelei 
time to find our stone that sings. Let's explore the forest. Together we'll go on a riveting quest full of twists and turns. You got it, Pip. Whatever you want, Pip. Oh, oh, what's this? Plan this location to explore it and seek treasure. Ooh. Armed with Pip's trusty stone-seeking thingamajig, the kobold and his starborn ally wander off into the undergrowth. Nothing to see here, he sighs. Seconds later, a humongous Varder attacks. With gusto and panache, our heroes slay the monster in no time at all. Burrowed within its mortal remains, the kobold uncovers a glossy marble. It sure is pretty, but it's not the stone that sings. No. That was a riveting quest, full of twists and turns. I only wish... There'd been some spoils, too. Our adventure is far from over. See you again. Toodle pip. Toodle pip. <sighs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, all right. Then I guess the question is. Do y'all want to go, like, claim that again? That's ours now. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Hauser feels a pang of guilt after ransacking the area. Sadly, there's no other choice. In the age of a thousand kings, it's everyone for themselves. Hauser's army retreats with their spoils. The hateful glances of the populace will haunt the soldiers' dreams for many nights to come. <gasps> oh, no. I'm sure it's fine. Add a permanent temple tower building to the location. Um, well, we need to branch out from here, so maybe we should play it here. Oh, do I need to be there? Oh, sick! You can actually see it. That's tight. Um, okay. Oh, can't move. All done. Yeah, I like it a lot. I'm biased, obviously. <laughs> okay. to recruit a unit of acolytes of right elite priests summoning celestials to aid in battle Ooh! play to recruit a unit of oath sworn heavily armored but slow footed knights this sounds this sounds good for us right we don't really have any mages yeah put them in the back They heal too. Mm-hmm. And give them some knights. Okay. An easy win, he says. Let's go, dude. Prove it. <laughs> yes, good. <laughs> I like watching them because they're like... <laughs> Yay! 
Get out of here, goofballs. Hauser's crushing it. He's doing real well. Here's your first lesson about this war. Once, Friedland and Elben were allies. But then, four generations ago, Friedland's eastern lands were consumed by silence. So people began migrating west. Food was short, and tempers even shorter. What? Let's see. Effective friendly combatants explode on death? Upgrade this card to increase the amount of summon illuminance from two to three. Yeah. Let's do that. Explode on death? Y'all for real? No, we're not gonna pillage. Apparently pillaging haunts their dreams, so we're not gonna <laughs> not gonna pillage. We're not gonna pillage. Unnecessary. Oops. What is this? Watchful army. Um, okay, I'll stay here for now then. Y'all aren't doing nothing, you just hanging out? There's a baby there now. Not a baby, but you know, a baby. There's a baby there. In case you were curious. <laughs> we're fighting it? Okay. Another triumph for Hauser. Wait, what is this? Why why is that getting X'd out? I'm missing out on XP. Why? The silence devoured Friedland bit by bit. And where silence falls, war is never far behind. Indeed, my lady. Our prospects are grim. I used to think the gods had a plan. Now I'm not so sure. These are desperate times. Wait, don't... It'll have both now, though, right? It didn't... It didn't destroy what was already there? Question mark? Siege ends in one turn. Okay. So this is this is what I was thinking about last time. I see. All right. Gates breached. Yeah, dude. Attack. Oh gosh. Come on. 
back to- Ooh, we've got a Celestial Warrior! Let's go! It's range, guys. You're so dizzy. Pushing them off the screen. Get out of here, dude. Woohoo! Victory for the ages. Yeah, I'm missing out on XP for some reason. Maybe, maybe it's like a. It might have something to do with like a, a secondary objective or things like that. I remember the old King of Elven from when I was little. He was a kind man, a good man, just like father. His wisdom is sorely missed these days, my lady. Yeah, Lorelei. Call a random combat unit from your army reserves. Or all friendly cavalry units thunder into the area attacking all enemies. Upgrade to increase the attack power from five to eight. Yeah. I gravitate toward upgrading things that I already have like sort of figured out how to use, you know? Okay. Done everything she can do. What's over here? Nothing. <laughs> Ambush. Oh goodness gracious. No, our backs are turned. No, we're squishy, dude. Not like this. <laughs> Save them. Save them. No. No. No! Oh my gosh. I was out of here, dude. Oh! He's rethinking his strategy. We got ambushed, dude. What do you mean? We got ambushed. Positively slapped. <laughs> it's fine. Go cause some Look trouble. who's come begging for mercy. King Atron's loyal cur. You are the one who <laughs> started this you? war. But I'll have no qualms ending it once and for all. Uh. We're laying siege. You better believe it. Um, and you can't walk very far, I guess. You can, you can walk far. Go here. Go here, have a, have a nice chill. Recruit a star shower catapult. Ooh. Sure. Yeah, let's have a catapult, why not? <laughs> Armored knights, archers. Okay, we'll build our army back up. How are you guys?
guys doing? You have room for something new. We could put some more babies out there. You know, since we're sieging and all. We are fighting for our survival. You of all people should understand. I have heard tales of your valor. We share the same plight. But unlike you, I have the guts to do the right thing. Huh? But the bird told me to come here. The bird told me. Boop. The bird told me. Knock, knock. The siege ends in two turns. Dang. Okay, well, it's time for Hauser to have another dub. Oops. Get in there. Get your confidence back, dude. Here we go. Oh, go yo. Start shooting me. Not like this. Ooh, that catapult is spicy. Okay, we're gonna land some people right in here. Really confuse them. Yes, good. That catapult! It's good! Everybody should have one of those. Those should come standard. All right. Good job, Hauser. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can. Maybe, maybe because of the build, I don't think I can. Are level you all him up right, anymore. old man? You look worried. I am fine, my lady. I just have a lot on my mind lately. Can't move. Okay. Enough of your cruelty. You pillaged our farms, raised our cities to the ground. We only did as we were done by, you sanctimonious fool. This is it. The silence. The same blight that devoured my home. That looks big. That looks awful. Oh no. What? It says you can. Oh no. Oh no. Wake up, Queen Lorelei. King Atron's been playing you like a fiddle. Don't listen to her, my lady. She is lying. The gates have been breached. Let's go! <laughs> Attack! Is spreading faster and faster. Now that the crusade controls Purgatory, we're treating this way, only get but our worse. stuff's over here. Oh no, they panicked. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, you know, like, uh, so again, for anybody who missed the, the spiel, um, yeah, we're sponsored playing this today specifically to talk about uh, their Kickstarter that is launching mid-March. They have a demo up. Um, there's a lot that you can see of the game and what they want to do with it. Um, this is a special build for me to specifically show off to you guys. Um, I think enough people have been burned by game Kickstarters at this point that for a lot of people, if they want to run a Kickstarter, I think the mentality now, which, you know, the mentality now is I need them to know that this is going to be a finished product, right? Like I have a clear vision. I, we know exactly what we're making. You can basically, you can tell what the game is going to be from seeing this, from playing the demo. You know, um, so that's why we're promoting it today, right? There is a demo. You can absolutely wishlist it on Steam if you're like, yeah, I'm down. This game looks great. Um, but if you want to help support the development process, uh, the Kickstarter is going to be launching pretty soon here. Um, and so this is part of a, a campaign to um, push awareness toward the Kickstarter if you want to bookmark it for when it launches. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I'm biased, but I, I, I think it's a beautiful game. Uh, sometimes I get really overwhelmed by 4X games. I don't feel overwhelmed by this game, so that's nice. <laughs> Do I think I'm playing it optimally? No, <laughs> but I'm kind of I'm okay with that. Please tell me if this is an easy win. He's not saying it is. Ooh, sure. Be Ooh, it changed! It changed, nice. Oh no, they're sieging! No! Okay, come here. Come here, dude. I, okay. Play siege, but then but then leave. But then leave and come here. Can't move now. Okay. That's okay. It ends in six turns. We're fine. <gasps> this isn't personal. Without fighting back, we'll perish. Now they're sieging here. Oh, come on. Yeah, get him. Oh no, we have no units. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> I should start this game over. <laughs> oh my goodness. I totally forgot about the fact that I don't. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Be right back. <laughs> you haven't told me much about your new liege, Hauser. King Atron has never known peace. He is not like you. I try to be his conscience with all my might. But sometimes... I'm sure he appreciates it. Father always did. An easy win, he says. You got this, dude.
Oh, nice. I just ran away. Sick. So much money. Um, let's buy some units. Oh my goodness. Lights recruiting unit of Rage Sworn. Elite Cavalry. Yeah. Okay. Get him. Let me level you up, Hauser. I get it. It's not the full build. There's something I need you to know. Something about the king. What? Tell I, me. No. I cannot. Whatever's <gasps> on your mind, there's no need for haste. Tell me whenever you are ready. Thank you, milady. Can't move. I know. I know. we go <gasps> a Jaeger unit elite crossbow hunters oh, yes yeah dude I'll also put another catapult here I really don't want to lose again <laughs> I really don't want to lose again dude I appreciate how easy it was considering that like a second ago I had no unit <laughs> I appreciate how how quickly I was able to build my army back up. The process for that, as you know, as long as you've got a settlement and you're and you're, you know, and you have locations and you're getting materials and things, you can build the army back up so quickly. Thank goodness. Okay, let's try that again. Can't move. Trebuchet King why? of Catapults. Just why am I fighting King Atran's war? No, I mustn't falter. Too many rely on me. Okay, it says easy win now. It didn't say that before.
get the head honcho. Get him. <laughs> get him. Did one of my cows die? I can't believe this. Protect him. Protect my cow. Don't correct me, chat. <laughs> Don't try to correct me. Yay! If you feel lost, milady. Just look upwards. The guiding star watches our every move. Yeah, can't buy any right here, which makes sense. Yeah, not close enough to anything. Okay. Doesn't say it's easy. Five garrison units, celestial temple. Um, okay, let's go back here. We can add m more. So, what is. Does, will it tell me? So the only thing that I'm a bit confused about is, so my reserves are like duders that aren't going into battle with me, but I, I, oh, I, I have them. I can put them into my army if I need them. What is the garrison? How is that different? Is the garrison who stays at this location? That would make sense. People who defend the location. Okay. Hmm. Sieging gates breached. Okay, let's give this another shot. She does not think this is a good idea. <laughs> Shouldn't be that. That's fine. Bye. That's fine. I'll see you around. Deuces. <laughs> King Atron and I seem to have a lot in common. Less than you think, milady. Less than you think. Can 
gonna go by you. You know, doesn't seem like it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whittling them down. Yeah, totally. Invaders ahead. This is also probably a terrible idea. It is a terrible idea. I knew it. That was not too terrible of an idea. It's not too bad. Not great, though. Not great. Kind of. BJA, I just read your name as Baja, and forever now, if you ever come back, I will think of you as Baja Blast, and I just need you to know that. That that's your name now. It's your full government name. Oh no! I've loved Elben ever since father took me here. I was so young back then. Almost feels like another life. They look terrified. Indeed, my lady. The silence has pushed them over the edge. No. We have. Satisfying. Okay. Um, and then y'all probably need to get back here because it's, it's about to be besieged. Oh no, we don't have a lot of guys. Uh oh, we don't have a lot of guys. Oopsie doopsie. Keep them alive, keep them alive, keep them alive. Let them kill. No! away. why they run? why they run away on their chocobos? 
I have seen many places like Friedland. Silence begets madness. It's always the same story. An easy win. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> Just a nice little trot. Having a nice little trot, dude. Ooh, yeah, that felt great. guys just blow them up yeah it's got this really pretty art deco style to it that i love like i love seeing the title cards and stuff I wish I could have met your father once more during this life, if only to tell him how proud he'd be of his daughter. Why are you so buff? There we go. Ah! What do you mean siege ends in five turns? Siege ends now, dude. Over. We should definitely try fighting in the silence, right? Whoa. 
Oh, goodness gracious. More chickens. No. Protect them. Okay. Now then, uh, you, you go back here. <laughs> Can't move. The like number tracker down here. Um, sometimes it takes a sec to update, but I guess, I guess literally any time you go, you do a fight your turn's done, basically. You've, like, exhausted your movement options. Okay, now I can buy these. Acolytes of Wrath. Yes. Good. Okay. should see what this fight is like it's our duty they put many it in the have build. ventured into the silence only few have returned stay away milady i implore you i already click you did though many have ventured into the silence <laughs> he's like only no few dude have returned. stop stay away milady i implore you but but okay Okay, fine. <gasps> How dare you? Okay, well, we can go this way. We didn't do this. Do you want to go into the silence, player? Hello, viewers. If you're watching this right now, and this seems like an incredibly fun game, and just now you were like, I want to know what the silence is going to be like, then did you know you can assist in the development of this game? In fact, there is a Kickstarter launching mid-March, and you can find the link to it with exclamation point sponsored. Holy schmaboli. Get out of here. My town. Get out of here. <laughs> Beep. And then. An easy win, he says. But he won't go into the silence! No! All right. That's fine. You, you viewer, you could help. You could be part of the development process. We're attacking, we're attacking, we're attacking, we're attacking, we're attacking. 
<gasps> Protect. Are these silence warriors? I'm not sure what they're called in lore. <laughs> Are these evil yuckums? Good job, Hauser. Oh, my baby's leggies are hurting, I think. Hold on. I need to take a quick break and give my kiddo some medicine. I think she's having a rough time. I will be right back. In the meantime, you could uh, check out... The link at exclamation point sponsored. Oh my gosh, you should. You should do that. <laughs> Be right back.
Hello. Sorry about that. I've got to pause this. So we can watch this. What did you catch? Ooh, Barracuda. Fantastic. Hello. She wouldn't she wouldn't like fully wake up enough to to take medicine or anything, so it's okay. We're not gonna be playing a super long time more, so. Let's look around a bit more. Let's see if we can get, I wanna see what this is before we leave. this an easy win he says he says that about everything though he's so confident <laughs> oh my gosh it is an easy win though there's no one here these are the places i was supposed to go first <laughs> does sleepwalk sometimes still, yeah. Ho ho. Mine. What can I buy here? Ooh, more wrath acolytes. Yeah, we're 
we're going to be wrapping up in a few minutes here, but um, again, uh, this is a game that is still early on in its in its development. Um, a Kickstarter is going to be going live in a few days here. The link that's in our sponsored command is a link to their Kickstarter, so you can bookmark it and um, go back to it once it's live. But they obviously have like a fleshed out idea and product here. Um, so it's just it's just finishing it, really. Location. That's okay. I'm exploring now. I'm in exploration mode now. Uh, there's multiplayer options with this game as well. <gasps> I can't cross the water. A water. I can't cross this water. No. Well, what's this? Oh, send heroes on adventure. Okay, what's this new tutorial? Some locations such as Wild Winds have to be explored. Use the explore card. Send your hero it. The higher level heroes have a higher chance of success. Completing adventures grants XP. Okay, sick. like every time we build something up they sort of add to their own garrison Oh no. Oh no, there's nothing there. No! Rip. No, what on earth? Is it not my turn yet? Did I get stuck? Get out of here. Thank you. Seems like these these attempts to like take back little villages are beaten back pretty easily. So that's good. Lance. Oh. He's just a little guy. He's just a little guy. He's having a nice time. Oh, sure. Yeah, make it thicker. Put a tower in. Your friend's valor has left a deep impression on me, Hauser. She could be a great ally, 
or an even greater foe. Only time will tell. What do you mean? Can I slip by you? Can I? Could I just? Can I? She thinks, oh no, baby. That's a pillow, baby. Maybe that's a pillow. <laughs> She's panicking. I'm sorry, I'll be right back one more time and then <laughs> I'll come back to wrap up properly.
Okay. <laughs> see, how are we doing on this? We'll let the last of these fishings happen. And then I'll wrap up properly. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think it's kind of hard because it looks like um, in this build of the game, you're maxed out at leveling up your heroes to three and you can't get any stronger. And um, trying to fight her up in that corner <laughs> feels like no matter how big my army is, because uh, you, you gain like extra space for more army units the higher level you are so I don't think I could have beaten her all righty hello <laughs> all right guys Thank you all so much for watching. This has been Songs of Silence. Again, really quick to give you the pitch here. Um, this is a, a 4X strategy game. It's, it's fantasy themed. It's got this beautiful art deco art style. Um, there is a demo on Steam. You can wishlist the game, but also if you, if you really love the look of this, if you wanna help out with development, um, this, this is just like a tiny bit of the game that they wanna make and a Kickstarter is gonna be going live mid-March. So real quick here, uh, if you're interested in that, if, if this looks like something that you'd like to support, um, check out the Kickstarter. The link to their Kickstarter is in our command, in the sponsored command. Um, and yeah. Hopefully, uh, you know, they're, they're wanting to reach the right people, the sort of people that love a 4X game. There's going to be multiplayer involved. You can already do some multiplayer in the demo. <coughs> so, yeah. But for now, I'm going to start wrapping up here. Thank you all again. I appreciate it. Let me read off our activity feed. Um, raid leader is open. If you'd like to suggest someone to raid. Pajama Matt, thank you for the 79 months. Teox for the 60. Happy five years. Happy anniversary. Thank you very much. Wear Girl for the 78. Chili Cookie for subscribing. Thank you so much and welcome to the cat gang. KH fan, thank you for the 11. Total Stuffies for the two. Um, Johan Leafheart for the 51. Alcyon for the 73. Macarim for the four. Stress Lemon Zest for the four years. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. Red Lips Blue Veins for the 38. Amariel for the 97. Zen Christian for the 62. Hasaru for the 80. El Zilko for the 67. Vorik for the six. Space Artemis for the one year. Thank you so much. Happy anniversary. And Zephyrus one for the 92. Thank you all very much. Nobody snagged it, so I will send you to my sweet love. Uh, go say hi to Sam. Spread love and joy. I will see you guys next time. Thank you again to our sponsor. Check out Songs of Silence. Uh, and otherwise, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>